More local school districts are trying to be transparent when it comes to reporting COVID-19 cases. San Marcos CISD just launched a new online dashboard. The Hayes CISD did the same yesterday, and KXAN's Tara Rahman spoke with a parent about how important it is to have that information. So I have one over here. She is making a cookie stand. It's recess time for San Marcos CISD students at the Gomez household. It gives them a break from being inside, and it kind of helps them calm down to get ready for their second half of the day. That's especially important for Valerie Gomez's kindergartner. To get him to kind of sit down and follow videos or to join certain Zoom calls, it, it becomes a struggle. We sometimes have meltdowns a lot more than I'd like to admit, but we do. She's trying to keep track of local COVID-19 cases to decide when to send her son back to campus. Kind of just watching different news stations and kind of trying to keep up on our own on what the numbers are. That just got a little easier. The school district launched its own COVID-19 dashboard Tuesday. We did hear a community interest in learning more and the exact number of cases, the locations. San Marcos now joins Hayes, Wimberley, and Dripping Springs ISDs in publicly posting cases. We thought we're not hiding anything. There's no reason to not communicate this to our public. So that's why we launched the little chart there on the front of the website. Gomez says the data will also help her make informed decisions. That'll definitely help when it comes to deciding whether to send my children back or to keep them home. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. We checked in with the Hayes County Local Health Department for an update on COVID cases in their school districts. They say since August, when teachers started going back to campus, four staff members and two students have tested positive at the Hayes CISD, all at separate campuses. One virtual learning student from San Marcos CISD has tested positive for COVID-19 so far. In the Wimberley ISD, the health department says three staff members have tested positive, two go to the same campus, and one works in an administrative office. And the Dripping Springs ISD has had one positive case, that being a student.